Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? I hope you're excited because today we got something a little bit different. We're going to be opening up a 2021 box, retail box of Series 1. I'm going to be hunting Jason Robertson today. I haven't opened a ton of this uh, myself or even on the channel. I don't even know if I've opened barely any of this on the channel uh i'm excited to do this got this box a really long time ago i actually got this at the june expo i was gonna keep it sealed uh i, I do have a hobby box of this stuff sealed still uh, but i decided to rip it open just because i love jason robertson and his cards have gone way up so i think i'm gonna go ahead and rip this open so I'm opening this. Lafreniere was the top guy now it is jason robertson no question Lafreniere probably number two still if you're watching this on release day, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the holidays with your family and enjoying some nice rest and relaxation. Uh, if you have not done so already, please consider subscribing. We are less than 40 subscribers away from 500 subscribers. And if we hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, we will do a 500 subscriber giveaway. And you cannot win if you're not subscribed. So please, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. Drop a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you've ever ripped open 2021 Series 1 Uh I haven't ripped open a ton of it because when I started collecting cards, it was around 2021 Series 2, uh, and this stuff was pretty expensive, so I always got Series 2 because I thought it was a better young crop, but yeah, definitely uh, Robertson and Kaprizov, probably the two highest names out of 2021, and yeah, let's see if we can get a Jason Robertson. All right, first pack up here. See if we can get a Young Guns. Might be some quality control issues, uh, considering this is Series 1. Also might get some base packs, since this is retail. And it looks like we'll start with a base pack. Pack number two. Looks like we have our first Young Guns. Let's take a look. That's going to be Gabe Velarde. Decent one there. Uh, had a hot start. It's cooled down since. Uh, I think it's around $10, maybe $15. Uh, that might be a little rich. Definitely at least $10 if I had to guess. Gabe Velarde, solid one there. Pack number three. Uh, looks like we got... Oh, maybe another base pack. Yep, that'll be our second base pack. Hopefully I don't get too many more of those. Uh, pack number four, and as I say that, I think we got another base pack. Yep, our fourth base pack. I said fourth base pack, but it's actually our third base pack. We just have opened four packs so far, and it looks like we get a canvas card. Nope. Oh, we got our second Young Guns here. Don't think it's Robertson. Who is this? This is, oh, it is Robertson, just not the right one. Nick Robertson. So odds are he probably won't get his brother if we're getting Nick here. Uh, just hasn't been able to, to make it with the Leafs. Still got a lot of offensive upside. Could definitely break out uh, whether that's on the Leafs or not. We'll have to wait and see, but another solid one there. So I think the odds we pull both Robertsons in one retail box, probably pretty slim, but you never know, I guess. It looks like we got our first canvas card. This one's going to be Matt's Zuccarello. Okay, next up looks like we have our third Young Guns coming up. And who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? That is going to be Reed Duke. First ever Golden Knight history. Uh, not a good one there, but it's whatever. Okay, next up. This is another base pack. Yep. Let's hope we're just getting all the base packs out of the way early, but it looks like we do have another one. Holy crap. I do remember there being a lot of base packs in retail of Series 1 2021. Cool picture of McDavid here on this pack. What do we got next? What the heck? Is this another one? Holy crap. This is kind of ridiculous. Yep. Okay, next up, uh, holy crap, this is another base pack. What is up with this? What the heck? This is like getting ridiculous. Well, it looks like we got our fourth Young Guns coming up. Let's see what we got here, it looks red. Ooh, there we go, that's a good one. Josh Norris, obviously 
<laughs> got injured this season, didn't play a whole lot, but has a lot of potential, a lot of upside in Josh Norris. The, so far, we've had some pretty solid names. Not the, not the top two guys are really looking for, but just overall decent young guns so far. So we're now officially halfway through the retail box, and we've only got five inserts, and four of them have been young guns. We only have one insert that hasn't been a young guns, and it's just Matt Zuccarello canvas. So <laughs> not looking great here. That means we got seven base packs in our first half. I did mix up the box, so hopefully there's not a whole lot of base packs in the second half. All right, first pack of the second half. Ooh, looks like we got a game used jersey of William Carlson. That's kind of neat. Look at that. UD game jersey, William Carlson. Wish it was in the white napkin swatch, but that's okay. I think it is game used. Yep, game used hockey memorabilia back when Upper Deck actually did that <laughs> now it's usually just player worn but game use piece of william carlson so usually in these boxes when you get one of those ud game jerseys you don't get a young gun canvas but we'll wait and see we've only got one canvas card so far so we're still expecting three more of those i believe and <laughs> but we got another base pack first looks like here we got our second canvas card looks like a normal one uh this one's gonna be jonathan huberdo Okay, looks like we got our first portrait card. This one's going to be Braid and Shen. I actually really enjoy the portrait design from 2021. I think it's different. In my opinion, the portrait design of 2022 was just awful. In 2023, I actually really like that one. Uh, I probably... Oh, wait a second. Who is that? Oh, I thought it was Lafreniere, but I don't think it is. Who is this? Uh, Michael McLeod? Nope, Tyler Benson. An all right one. He hasn't really lived up to the hype. Tyler Benson, Young Guns. Just another... <laughs> Okay, decent name. I actually sold my PSA 10 Jason Robertson. I should mention that. Uh, I got a pretty fair price for it, I would say. I still have one more Jason Robertson in my ComC account, so still have the complete set of 2021 Series 1. Brock Nelson portraits there. Some of you down in the comments might think I'm crazy for selling that Jason Robertson, but the hype is real right now, and I think everyone's... The prices have gone crazy on those Robertson cards. So I just thought it was the right time to sell. Ooh, this is kind of neat. Kyle Connor, NHL faceoff. I've never seen this canvas before. That's cool. But yeah, I just thought it was the right time to sell it. Uh, and worst case, in my mind, I think I could just buy a PSA 10 Robertson Young Guns back in the offseason when it dips a little bit. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a Blue Dazzlers of Brady Kachuk. I just don't see the Robertsons increasing any more this season than they already have unless Dallas goes on a long cup run which is possible okay looks like we have our final canvas card not gonna get the canvas young guns today brady kachuk down to the final three packs here so oh that's gonna be our last young gun so we'll save that one to the end it's probably won't be a whole lot in these other two packs Looks like, an, oh, we got a portrait rookie, Liam Foodie. Final pack, then we'll reveal our last young gun. Anything special here? Nope, another base. Oh, nope. <laughs> portrait of Alexander Ovechkin. All right, time to reveal our last young guns. Overall, it's been a decent retail box. Nothing to ride home out, really, but some quality names. A lot of base packs. All right, let's see who our last guy is going to be. That is good. Green, it's a goal. He was a oh, Jake Ottinger. Let's go. That's a good one. I'm not sure what he's been selling for recently. He was really up at the start of the season, and then I think he kind of leveled off a bit. But Jake Ottinger, if we're if we're not getting a Jason Robertson, Dallas Star, Young Gun, what the next best star to get? Definitely Jake Ottinger. Overall, I'm happy with this retail box. All right, so we didn't really get any big home run hits, but we got just a lot of solid cards. These two, eh, kind of whatever, but Norris, Robertson, Velarde, and Ottinger, definitely four cards that I really like. Like, I like a, a lot of their upsides, either the Norris or the Ottinger being our best pull. So, yeah, nothing crazy. No Robertson, no Lafreniere, but that's okay with me. Got some nice cards. A lot of base packs is the only thing I didn't like. It's the thing about opening older boxes as well. That's why people enjoy going back and doing this because the good young guns change over time. For example, Ottinger probably wasn't uh, a huge young gun when this product came out, and now he's probably definitely in the top 10, if not top 5. I'd have to look and see who else is in here. Uh, but, for example... Uh, Tage Thompson, he's definitely the top young gun in 17-18 Series 1. 
uh, and before it was like Debrinket and McAvoy, and that's really changed. And yeah, those 1718 Series 1 retail boxes uh, were forever like always available, uh, one of the cheapest options to open cards. And now people keep buying them up, trying to pull the Tage Thompsons. And man, did I miss some Tage Thompson. I sold some Tage Thompsons when I probably shouldn't have, but that's a story for another video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, drop a comment down below if you enjoyed and how your holidays have been going. Uh, Drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. it. helps the video get out to more people. And yeah, guys, subscribe if you haven't done so already so you have a chance to win that 500 subscriber giveaway if we hit it by the end of the year. And yeah, guys, take care. Have a good one.